Okay, so all setters and getters I have created and uh, address so set address to edit box and a string address to so this is the string value right the you need to type so that is the one send data element and a value which value you want to type and get a address to edit box so address to edit box dot get attribute of value get city edit box set city edit box okay get city edit box set city edit box and same way uh, get postal edit code edit box set postal code edit box all the setters and getters are just typing and getting the value so whenever you want uh, uh, after typing you want to get the value you call the getter methods so these are also you can tell Okay. So get confirmation password edit box, set confirmation password, set password edit box, get. Select a country. So this is the one. See the country we are selecting. So you have here, right? Country. So that country we are selecting. So you give which option you want to select. So select option by visible text. So this method is already there in the uh, WebDriver Utils uh, class. That function you are calling here. Country dropdown, option text. So wait for page load and this one. Wait for page load. So select a country. So select a state and string option text. And uh, so you the same, right? This is also drop down. So drop down code we are writing here. Select action by visible text. Select option by visible text method you call, but you can change a different method also. State drop down option text. So next, so password is done. This is done. Then you need to select a subscription. So you want to select a subscription, yes or no? You pass yes or no. So select subscribe, string subscribe value. So if subscribe dot equals ignore case, yes. If the subscribe value is yes, you click on the subscription yes radio button. Else you click on the subscription no radio button. So that's what the logic we just built. So whichever you want, you pass for this method. So then it will take care automatically. So next, check agree checkbox. This one. This is the agree checkbox. So agree and agree checkbox. And uh, click continue button. Click continue button. So this one. You are clicking continue button. And uh, click login page link. The top we have a login page link, right? that one we are clicking. So now I'm I'm just uh, no, just you know, giving a uh, another method, so to reduce the number of lines in the uh, our test case. So set personal details. If you want set personal details, so what are all things I need? I need a first name, last name, email, telephone, fax. So that's what I'm giving as a parameters. First name last name, email, telephone, fax. So you can just pass this. So set first name edit box, I'm calling F name. Set last name. Again, basically the already developed methods we are calling here again. And making another you know, method instead of you know, calling all these methods bigger one, I'm just simplifying. So I can make one method. This one you can call in the test cases. Set address details. See, you can set the company name, but you have to give all the parameters for this function. 
company name, address one, address two, city, country, state. See, set company, set company edit box, set address one, address two edit box, set city, set postal code, select a country, select a state. So these are all the, so this address related, right? Address, these many fields are there, all the fields I took and I'm setting that and created another function. Set password details. So this one, password details, only two fields. So you set the password edit box, set confirm password edit box. That's it. Two passwords you are giving. So now password, confirm password, both you have to provide. Next. Yeah, that's it. Uh, this one we covered, this one we covered. And let me show you, maybe you can uh, just set some name. I'll... Uh, Take new email. I'm sure what mail ID I can give. Let me see this. Okay. I'm just registering, okay? Manually I'm doing first. So without doing manually, it's not possible. Okay, that's why I entered all the data. So let's click on, uh, so carefully observe. So if you want to go to next page, you have to fill all this data. Click on continue. Email address is already registered. Maybe you can take one of this uh, also, right? This alert message. So, um, F, F, A, exclamation circle, this one. And then remaining this one. Alert, alert, danger. So did we take that? Email address already exists. We don't have, right? Maybe we can take it. Mm. Okay. Agree error message we have taken. Yeah, we don't have. So let's take that also. Another element already exist account email address already exist email address email exists error message i have to create a so copy selector Okay. Oh, same. Oh, we are getting the same one. Yeah, I think it's the same. Okay, fine. So I need to get the even agree error message also similar, similar, but the message will be different. Okay. So this message is different when you give that. Mm -hmm. Let me see, recently I created one email address. Remember that. Hmm. 
So already existing email is there, it won't uh, work out. You have to give a new email address. Okay, I got it. So let me give you a new So let's try now. So this error message also we have taken. That's good. And uh, maybe I can get that error message also. See this, this is the one I was talking. Your account has been created. So let me show you those elements. Can you see here? Account created success message account created header. So this one account created header. So this is the success message. Congratulations, your new account has been successfully created. So this and this and this breadcrumb success message. Can you see here account created a success breadcrumb success message? This one, success link. Created success message, account created header. And then here you have a contact us link. Then continue button. Then continue button. So all these elements we identified. You can see account created continue button, account created success message. So these are the elements. If you click on continue, it will take you to the my account page because the account is created. So account is created with this also. This is another uh, so account I created. Right? So these are the elements and the methods. So you, you get this message and this message also. You click on this contact us, you click on continue. Okay, let's see what will happen. See, you landed in the my account page. So these are all the methods we have developed on this one minute.
Okay, so that's the uh, registration piece. And uh, so only left now two pages, right? So tomorrow we'll uh, finish these two pages and we can uh, write the test cases. So we need to spend more time after running the you know, uh, framework. So you need to understand how to push this code to GitHub. So then how to run in Jenkins. So I'll show you all this end-to-end uh, -end flow. Because these are all you know, real time also. You'll work on pages, test case design, so reusable methods creation. So that particular page methods. So we need to create. So this is the work mostly you have. So in wherever you go, so same work you will perform. Uh, if you want to take extra, there are some companies who they will ask to design the framework, right? So that is a bit so different. So once you get more experience and then they will uh, ask you to create the framework, but don't worry, okay? Maybe you can use this also. Only pages and test cases, you can leave it. Remaining all same, even if you want to develop also, okay? Any questions? No, Ram. Yeah, please finish uh, till this point and come back. Okay, so that uh, tomorrow we'll close this uh, results page and product details space.